What's up? Welcome to Ask Brian, episode 14. There's 14 of these? And yes, this is a wife beater beyond the week shirt. That is right. Anyways, me and LP, as you know, have been going to a new gym and will be for the next two weeks or so. So overlaid with this Ask Brian episode is going to be footage of us hitting back by and try today. I didn't get every exercise in. I wish I could have, but you know, I have to be respectful. It's a new gym and I don't want to, you know, irritate the people who are regulars there. So I only got what I could get with respect. And I also have some footage from the racquetball court, which is going to be a lot of fun. So enjoy this Ask Brian episode. JR Fitness with the first question and he asks, what's the difference between drinking your protein and eating your protein? What he means by that is, is there any difference between getting 25 grams of protein from whey protein powder and 25 grams of protein from chicken breast? Is there any difference? I'd say the biggest difference is that when you're eating the protein, you're going to be more full for longer. You're going to be more satiated because, you know, if you're chewing that chicken breast, there's still going to be pretty big chunks, you know, you need to swallow that. And then your stomach has to break that down with acids and enzymes and whatnot. But when you're drinking your protein, it's already completely chewed up, it's completely masticated, it's completely mechanically ground down. And now it's just, it's just ready for ingestion, which, which is fine. You know, you can totally get your protein in from, from sources like protein powders, but you will not be as full as long. Also, I, let me, let me track back there. I wouldn't get all of your protein from from powders. I would at least get 80% or 75% from food just because, come on, man, you don't want to just rely on protein powders. Be a man. Eat some food. Eat some chicken. Go catch a chicken and rip its head off and then eat it. Next question comes from Hannah J and she asks, would I ever push my children to get into the bodybuilding lifestyle that I live? Would I force them to get into that? Um, if I ever actually do have children, which I'm not really sure that I am or am not going to have children yet, but if I do have children, there's no no even chance of me forcing anything on them. If they don't like body, so I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna take them to the gym with me, right? I'm gonna be like, hey, check this out. I really enjoy this. Your pops loves this. Your pops is a big muscle dude. So come with me and I'm gonna show them everything, show them the ropes, get them into it. And if they don't like it, then they don't like it. Then I'll take them to go play baseball or soccer or dancing or whatever. You know, as long as my kids are doing something athletic, then I'd be happy. I, I would never be okay with them being lazy. Like if, if my kid started getting into Xbox and that was all he's doing, just playing Xbox and going to school, I'd be like, come on, kid, we gotta get you out to the grass field, run that ass around a little bit. Mm, Moody ass asks, is it okay to take two weeks off the gym or am I gonna lose all my gains? And of course, he has to let me know that it's not because he's being lazy, it's because he's on vacation. Now, of course, everyone has those times when you can't make it to the gym for half a month or whatever. Well, not everybody, but you know, some people, especially if you travel and you do business and whatnot. Now, a rest week is usually one week and one week you're not gonna lose gains. In two weeks, you will start to lose gains, I, I feel. You know, there's a lot of people who are gonna be like, you're not gonna lose any gains, but I feel like you start to lose a little bit of gains. But really, you're just gonna see yourself get smaller and you're gonna feel like you lost a lot of gains but you're gonna lose a lot of glycogen and a lot of water right and then when you start working out again you're gonna refill those glycogen stores you're gonna get that water back in there inside of your muscle under the subcutaneous layer of your skin and you're gonna fill out essentially and you're gonna feel a lot bigger so really it's not that you're gonna lose a lot of gains it's that you're gonna lose a little bit of size which is just water and glycogen as soon as you get back in the gym you'll be right back to it I'd say two weeks after you're back at the gym you'll make up for what you lost at the gym but don't make it a habit to miss the gym too often. G G G G G G S E P asks what my thoughts are on melatonin, how much you can take a day, and if you can take it daily. Now, what I think about melatonin is that it's absolutely awesome. I love melatonin. It's one of the supplements that I use um, most consistently. I, I, I always take melatonin. Uh, for me, it just, it, it brings me down, like it, it calms me down. It brings like a serenity to me. And then when I go to bed and when I actually lay down in my bed, I'm, I'm ready. It's like eased me into getting in that mode of sleep, you know, calming my brain down, calming my thoughts down, calming my body physically down. Um, so I think melatonin is great. Now what you should take for a daily dose is between um, two and five grams. If you're going over that, you, you can start building a tolerance. It's not the best to take that much, but it's completely safe. A regular dosage is three grams a day, and you wanna take that about half an hour to an hour before you go to bed, and it will start to calm you down, and then you'll realize that you got really, really tired. Now there are some people who have reported that melatonin doesn't do anything for them, and you know, that's something you have to try for yourself, see if melatonin works for you, but for most people, melatonin works awesome, and you can completely use it every single day. There's there's no problems. As far as what I've seen, I've been using it for years every single day. No problems. Justin Gomez, he asks, what's the best way to reverse diet from a cut into a bulk without gaining fat, or at least not gaining a lot of fat? Now, what I like to do is 
the first week after my cut is just a recomp week is what I call it. But basically all you're doing is just eating your maintenance calories. Whatever you think your maintenance calories is, whatever makes you full but not overly full and doesn't leave you hungry at the end of the night, that's what you should do because that's going to start building that, that caloric intake back up. Now if you're cutting severely lower than your maintenance, you know, if you weren't just like two, three, four hundred calories under, if you were like a thousand calories, of course you shouldn't go right back to your maintenance. But what I was going to say is after you do your recomp week, then you start increasing by increments of about a hundred, 150 every two or every three days and just continuously stack up and up and up and you'll see your workouts are getting better, you're getting better pumps and you'll see that you, you have more energy. You know, those calories aren't going to waste and because your body is allowed time to adjust to the new caloric intake, you aren't going to gain as much fat. But if you just immediately go from cutting into bulking, you know, change 1500, 2000, even more calories, then a lot of that is going to be stored as fat because your body's not ready to utilize those calories. So it's going to store them. All right, guys, that is it for the questions here on Ask Brian episode 14. I love, 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 love doing these videos. So please leave all your questions below so I have more cannon fodder for the next episode. Also like the episode if you did enjoy watching this video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I also want to say that tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. is the Ask Brian live show. There's going to be some extra clips in there. You know, usually it's just me talking to you guys, answering your questions, but it's all it's almost going to be like a little bit of a show this time. There's going to be three different clips that I have thus far. One of Tim Thibodeau, one of me when I was a little dude, like really little dude, I think 13 years old, and then one of me when I first started making fitness videos. And it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys better be there tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Lastly, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. I say it all the time, but seriously, thank you so much. If I could help each and every one of you as much as you guys have helped me and have supported me, it, it would take me a lifetime because you guys have just been so good to me. So thank you so much. Please continue sharing my videos on Facebook, on Instagram, all that stuff. It's helping so much. And if you're a misker, look below in the description, click that link, go to that thread, and talk to me. That's where we can talk, right in that thread, baby. All right, guys, I will see you in the next Ask Brian episode 15. Leave questions, I'm excited. Team Beyond the Week, lift heavy. Or die, Myron. Or die, Myron. Or die, Myron. Lift heavy. Or die, Myron. Or die, Myron.